All right, guys, welcome to the first pickup uh, on this channel. I've actually been wanting to do this since January, so I'm finally doing it now. I feel like we got a bunch of games that we can do. Not just games, but also movies, too, because I'm trying to have a game uh, movie collection. And maybe in the future, I might even do final comic books as well, but we'll see. But most, It's mostly going to be centered around games, that's for sure. Um, so recently, GameStop had like a sale going on. Uh, buy two, get one. And then also certain new titles were... Um, you know, uh, marked are discounted significantly. So one of them is Sackboy's Big Adventure. I uh, I'm not sure if anybody's played Little Big Planet at all, but I played Little Big Planet one to three, and I thought they were a lot of fun. So that's what made me pick up uh, Sackboy. Plus, I'm just into these kind of games like Knack and all that stuff. Um, they're just fun, you know, relaxing. Uh, and not that time consuming like you just play pick up whenever you want and then put it down it's just a fun time and i got this for 30 dollars. i don't know if i'm gonna go for prices in all of these but yeah happy to pick this up and that sale so continuing the gamestop haul that i got um what was included in the buy two get one deal was godfall now i know a lot of people have mixed opinions about godfall uh I personally liked it, but I'm also into these kind of games where you just kind of roam around, progress, get characters. I know people think it's a little repetitive. I know that um, recently PlayStation Plus, um, I know recently PlayStation Plus gave out like the end game version of this game, which is the more enjoyable part, but I want to experience the whole story. So that's why I got this in the buy to get one. Um, but so far I played it because of the PlayStation Plus, and I also got a chance to play through the story, and I thought it was pretty good for what it was. I know for $6, maybe not everybody would agree with that, but for being a free game that I picked up for the buy to get one, it was definitely worth it, um, or if it's at a significant discounted rate. But uh, yeah, glad I picked up Godfall. So I'm continuing with the GameStop halt. There's, there's going to be a couple games here. Sorry, there's buy to get one. Um, another game that was significantly discounted was Dying Light 2. Uh, this was, I believe, $30, um, which surprised me because this just came out recently. So I don't know why it was discounted so much, but I'm happy because I picked it up. I really enjoyed the first one. Um, I actually completed the first one on Xbox a long time ago. And um, I'm hoping Dying Light 2 kind of follows the same... Um, same like community uh modding that the other one did i know it wasn't like 100 percent legal in the game but if anybody's played the first one and you played it after its initial life cycle people were modding weapons and dropping it for people to have fun and um yeah i definitely uh like dying light one so that's what made me pick dying light two and i heard that it's also um a pretty lengthy game like around 500 hours so i'm hoping that this winter i can knock it out and complete it so that makes me happy so moving on to the final game, I believe it's, no, there's still more, but this is the final game I picked up in the hall, um, is Deathloop. This game was $20 at GameStop, I think it was like normally $60 or $50, um, but you know, for $20 I had to pick it up, it's also a relatively new game, I heard great things about this, I haven't played it yet, um, but I've heard, I've heard great things about it, so that's why I picked it up. I uh, hopefully you guys are seeing trailer. Well, not hopefully you guys are going to be seeing trailers and maybe gameplay of this. Uh, but yeah, really happy to pick up Deathloop. I was actually surprised that a lot of these new PS5 Xbox titles were um, like like so discounted. I was shocked. <laughs> uh, but then another funny thing happened is going on with the newer titles. I bought uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla at uh, I believe it was target or walmart one of the two and i wanted it for the xbox series x because that's where a lot of my assassin's creed collection is but i ended up they ended up sending me the wrong version which is the ps5 version so um i contacted them i said hey i ordered the xbox series x version i you know is there a way i can send this back and you send me the right one and i said you know what keep the ps5 version we'll send you the the correct one so i Bought this one for twenty dollars because it's on sale, but then I also picked, then I also got the uh, PS5 version, uh, as well for free. So I'm happy I own this game twice because uh, I've already beaten it on Xbox Series X, and I thought this was a great game. One because I'm into Norse mythology and I love Vikings, so that was um, great for me. But then two, 
it's also one of those games where it's pretty lengthy. I'm not 100% into like extremely long lengthy lengthy games, but you know, there's certain games where I'm willing to like for example, Assassin's Creed. I know this might not be everybody's thing, but like, you know, Assassin's Creed Origins, Odyssey, um Navahala, I actually like that they're a little bit longer and you get to explore more. Um but of course, that's just my preference on that. And <laughs> the fact that I've already beaten it on Xbox, I get to go back on PlayStation and play this, but yeah. Happy I got these two. I can't believe I got one for free because they screwed up my order. So moving on to the small portion of the video where I actually have movies to showcase, not just games. So the first pickup is Alita Battle Angel. I, I picked this up when I also got uh, Assassin's Creed as well. And this is a very, in, in my opinion, there's only a few good um, anime slash manga that were brought to live action that are actually good. So this is, I, I feel like this is a good live action adaptation of those. And it's Elite Battle Angel. I, I hope they continue making more. I know it didn't really do that well in theaters and in, um, you know, selling. But I'm hoping that they do more because I'd love to see like that last order done uh, uh, with this kind of style, especially with uh, Robert Rodriguez and James Cameron handling like the the story and the animations like they have been. Moving on to the next movie, it is 1917. So this was picked up. Uh, I didn't get this one with Alita. This this was actually I think I got at Best Buy, and this was like fifteen dollars. And the reason why I picked this up is because I watched this a long time ago in theaters, uh, and I thought it was a really good movie. I, I'm I love war movies for some reason, but the, the reason why I really like this movie is because it's um they tried to make it seem like it was all done in one shot, but they you know the way they did it is they took a whole bunch of one shot footage and seamlessly cut it together to make it look like one continuous shot. And I thought that was really cool, and I think, you know, the movie is also pretty well itself, you know, going from point A to point B, and the story in between. So I'm happy to have that in my collection. Uh, moving on to one of the movies I was really looking forward to, because I can't seem to find this anywhere, like, no streaming services, no nothing, so it is The Revenant. Uh, I like Leonardo DiCaprio as an actor, and... For some reason, the only movie that he actually won an Oscar for never seems to be on any platform. Not Netflix, not HBO Max, not Hulu, none of that stuff. So, um, <laughs> I'm, I bought this just because I want to watch a movie again. And if you haven't seen The Revenant, I recommend watching. It's a great movie. It's also pretty brutal, I'm going to be honest with you. There's certain scenes in the movie that are pretty hardcore, um... I, I guess the only example I can give without spoiling it too much, but there's a bear scene and the way that the bear attacks uh, DiCaprio's character glass is extremely gruesome <laughs> and it makes you, well, it made me kind of like, ugh, you know, like hurt while he was being mauled by this creature. Um, but yeah, it's a great movie. I recommend watching it. It's uh, basically kind of like a revenge story. Uh, 100% worth the watch i thought uh the, well i thought that <laughs> leonardo DiCaprio definitely deserved his oscar for that movie so moving back onto the games uh this is one game that i actually bought on ebay recently um you know there's certain games that you can try to find in the open world um you know like gamestop you know retro gaming stores thrift stores whatever um but i could never seem to find deadpool deadpool is like one of those elusive games i just i couldn't find anywhere and i was searching it for for a long time and they have a couple of versions of it. They have one on 360, PS3, Xbox One, PS4. PS4 is the most expensive version. I think it goes for like around 40 bucks. But I was lucky enough to get the PS3 version in pretty good condition. Um, it's got the it's complete in box, uh, good case, good you know cover. The manuals in order. The disc is great. Um, all for fifteen dollars. So I'm happy I picked this up. I actually plan on playing this very soon because I've been wanting to get this game for a while. And now that I have it in my collection. I plan on beating it, but I also would love to get the PS4 and Xbox One version, but <laughs> at a discounted rate. I don't plan on playing 40 bucks, so I guess the thrill of the hunt will be there for the, the next, or I, w I guess the next-gen version of this game, but uh, happy to have Deadpool 
on in my collection for the PS3. Can't wait to play it and beat this game. So moving on to another PS3 game. So recently, um, since I've started my you know game hunting you know journey again in January, I've come across a retro gaming store known as Back in the Game, and I've actually become uh, quite good friends with a lot of the employees there and even the owner and sometimes they hit me up with you know games that come in that I've been looking for and they give me uh, some deals from time to time and this is one of the games that they hooked me up with uh, it's called Jack and Dexter usually this goes for like about $30 on eBay and they were selling it for $15 so I was like $15 I get the Jack and Dexter collection um, one of my childhood favorite series that I played um, on the PS2 and I was like hey $15 pick it up it has all three games for you know the PS3 why not let's get it so yeah I uh, picked up Jack and Dexter great game uh, I know they have it on the PS4 that you can buy this digitally probably much cheaper than you can buy a physical but I just wanted the physical version of this and it's in really good condition so happy I got this for $15 Moving on to another game, so there are certain games that I try to look for and I just can't seem to find, um, but this one is, I'm not sure if it's just limited print, not that many were made, um, but it's called Call of Cthulhu. So you don't actually see like a live, um, like a, you know, the official box for it because I got the site GameStop. I actually got this online because no store in Chicago for me had this game. I was looking for it for a long time and I just could never find it. But they had it online, so I bought it. Uh, the disc, whoops, thought the disc was gonna fall. Out. The disc is in good condition. Uh, I'm hoping to eventually hunt down the official box so I can have this nicely displayed. But the reason why I picked up Call of Cthulhu is because I'm really into like Lovecraft monsters and Lovecraft stories, and Call of Cthulhu kind of gave me that like Sinking City vibe which um, I like that game, and this one I want to pick up. And I got this at GameStop for $10 online. Um, also another game that I picked up in the buy two, get one deal. Um, so this is another game that I plan on playing soon along with Deadpool. So let me know if you guys have ever played this game um, and if it's any good because, you know, it looks like it. It looks like, uh, like I said, it looks basically like Sinking City but more linear in a way. So... Really happy I got this. Can't wait to play it. So the next game on my list is Dragon's Dogma. I picked this up also at the other place where I got Jack and Dexter back in the game. Uh, the reason why I actually picked Dragon's Dogma is I played this a long time ago. I wasn't really into it. Um, you know, my taste as a gamer has definitely evolved when I got older. Um, but the reason why I picked up Dragon's Dogma is because recently I just watched the anime version on Netflix and since I like the anime version on Netflix I decided to pick up Dragon's Dogma and play it again um, I actually picked this game up twice by accident because I thought there's two different versions so one is Dragon's Dogma on uh, PS3 and the second one is Dragon's Dogma Dark Arise for 360 because I thought that was a sec like a sequel but it turns out that's just the complete version so I haven't played too much of it yet i'm a little ways through it uh but i kind of like this I, I like this game but it also reminds me a little bit of dante's inferno somewhat which is weird so here is the other next game that we have on the list is uh star trek <laughs> so the reason why i picked up star trek is there's certain games i'm hunting you know um one of the, one of the things i'm hunting re uh currently is good movie games and there's not many out there that, you know, good games that were, uh, or movies that were turned into games that are actually pretty good. And Star Trek is actually one of those games that, in my opinion, I felt did a pretty good job. And the reason why I thought they did a good job is because the shooting is, to me, it feels like Call of Duty in a way, but in like a Star Trek universe. And the story somewhat follows the first movie, but then they take some turns here and there to like make it fresh. Uh, I personally am happy to pick this up. Like I said, there's not that many good um, 
games that were you know were made from movies another one that i'm hunting for which i don't have yet but i plan on getting soon if i can find it is um x-men origins wolverine if i can get that if i can get that game i'll be happy because i'm trying to build a collection of these very random games that people may have dismissed because they didn't like the movie and if you have x-men origins wolverine uh you'll know what i'm talking about if you've seen the movie um, I know a lot of people didn't think it was that good. I actually liked the movie, but the game doesn't really follow the movie. It, it even though it has a title of the movie, it's more of like a hack and slash, you know, kind of beat them up and move around, and they go through like these different like, you know, um, time periods, and obviously from Vietnam to you know modern day, and it follows a different story, and that one's pretty good. So <laughs> that's like that's like one of the things I'm trying to go for is these just obscure, you know movie or movie title games that didn't really do well marketing wise because it was tied to a movie that didn't wasn't received well but going on to the next one is what i somewhat consider like a holy grail game because it's a game that's been on my list for a long time but i didn't pick it up when it first launched because i actually didn't know it came out but it's blue dragon so blue dragon is an anime that i watched a long time ago and I didn't realize they made a game until maybe like three years ago. Oh, and somebody was telling me about it. And oddly enough, this is one of the few games that Microsoft actually made an exclusive for. Uh, I'm not going to say it's a great game by any means, but it's a fun RPG game. And the fact that it's a Blue Dragon game, I had to pick this up. And it's one of the few games that actually has three discs. I'm not sure if you can see it there, but uh, this is disc one of three. And the other three are in there as well. So I was able to get this on eBay for $15, and I was very happy. But the one thing that always frustrates me about these games, and obviously you can tell that this is from GameStop, is because GameStop used to do this all the time, where they used to put stickers on the cover of the game. I can understand putting stickers on the plastic, but why would you put a sticker on the cover? I tried my best to get the sticker off the cover without you know damaging it, but there's only so much you can do before... You just can't risk anymore, but I'm happy to get this in my collection. I would love to get a cleaner um, cover and box, but you know what? I'm just happy to have a complete version that looks pretty well, so I'm not going to complain too much. I'm just happy to own it. So the next three games are games I didn't think I was going to find. I actually thought I was going to have to buy these on eBay for some reason, um, but it is first Bomb Mutant. This is a relatively new game, and this came out, I'm going to say within a, like with like last year or year before, and it didn't really do too well. Um, I'm not sure if it's because, you know, the amount of content for the price or whatever, um, but for me it looked interesting because you could choose between like these factions, I think there's like four or five factions, and you can like, depending on which faction you choose, your combat abilities change, like you could either be like a ranged attack, um, equipment, or you could just be pure melee, uh, from my understanding of it. Um, I know they've done updates because like apparently the narration is also really slow, so they wanted to turn the narration off. But the reason why this is one of the games I didn't expect to buy is because I've hunted through a lot of game stores and I could never find Bob Mutant anywhere. And recently, there's a... <laughs> There's actually three games I was looking for that uh, that ended up being in the same GameStop, which was completely random for me, and I was super happy, so I had to pick all three up. But uh, I got Bomb Mutant for twenty dollars because they were doing a sale on this one. It was new, but I was like, "Hey, I've never seen Bomb Mutant in the stores before." I'm not sure if it's because it, you know, like I said, it wasn't uh, received well, so they pulled them off the shelves. But um, yeah, I picked this up for twenty dollars. New, very happy because I actually couldn't find this for a very long time, and now I own the game, so I'm happy to play that. Hopefully, I can play um, around winter time. And this, the next two games, like I said, continuing the continuing the very difficult search for is Uncharted: The Lost Legacy. So I didn't play this game when it came out because I was probably playing a lot of Destiny because I'm a huge Destiny fan. So I wasn't really collecting at the time. So when this game came out. It just wasn't on my radar. Uh, but Uncharted The Lost Legacy is another one of those games where if you didn't get it at release, it became extremely difficult or increasingly difficult to find in stores because they didn't really sell it 
um that much because it was mostly like a online downloaded game or it was mostly downloaded online so they didn't make that many physical copies and if they did there wasn't many copies with the blue label on it it was the red label with the playstation hits or whatever it was called so the fact that i found this game along with biomutants uh it, like made my day because i've been wanting to play this game for a long time and uh naughty dog I've been a fan of them for a very long time since Crash Bandicoot, and the reason why I want to pick this up is because I played The Last of Us Part Two, and for some reason Naughty Dog knows how to make fight scenes with their female characters that I haven't seen in many video games. Like it feels like I'm watching a UFC fight. Like I'm not sure if you play this game, you know what I'm talking about, where there's a scene where Nadine and uh, Chloe are actually versing the the main bad guy, and the the fight. Uh, the fight scene is just incredible. Like every punch seems extremely impactful. It seems brutal. It seems like they it hurts a lot. And same thing with the fights between Ellie and Abby in The Last of Us Part Two. So that's what made me pick this up, and I'm glad I did. I'm glad I found it, especially with the blue on it. Because if you do find these anywhere, it's with the red uh, PlayStation hits. But I was able to get this as a used copy for twenty dollars, and I'm really happy to own it. So. Alright, moving on to the third and final game in this pickup series, or in this pickup video, is Bayonetta and the Vanquish Bundle. So, as I was saying before, there's a few games that I don't, I'm not sure if it's just because I'm in Chicago and there's certain games that just sell well in certain places and, not, and doesn't sell well in others. But uh, I've been wanting the Bayonetta and Vanquish Bundle for a long time, and the main reason I've been wanting this bundle is for Bayonetta. I played Vanquish before, I have the 360 version, um, but I didn't have it on, I didn't have Bayonetta, and I played it on, what was it, the Wii U a long time ago, and the fact that they ported it over to Xbox One and PS4 made me extremely happy, and if you played Bayonetta, I, in my personal opinion, I feel like they play much better on Xbox and PlayStation <laughs> compared to um, PlayStation 4, or I feel like they play better on Xbox and PlayStation compared to like the Wii U. And I hope that, you know, this does well enough where they decide to port over Bayonetta 2 and eventually do like a combo pack with Bayonetta 2 and Bayonetta 3 on it because I think they're great games that don't really need to be exclusive to Nintendo. <laughs> I, I feel like they could come to the other systems and still do well. But I can't believe that I found this on the shelf for GameStop because I've been looking for this game for probably maybe two years. I don't know why this was so hard to find. I wanted to get it on PS4, but, you know, like I said, I, I've just been looking for this game for so long. And the fact that, you know, it was there in an Xbox, I just I had to pick it up, man. I couldn't leave this game behind, especially since I've been <laughs> hunting this game for so long. Uh so let me know what game I picked up today that you um, also enjoyed, and let me know what you picked up recently as well, because I would love to hear what any what everybody else has, because for some reason, just hunting these games and getting uh, more things in your collection that you don't have is just exciting. It's like the thrill of the hunt. It makes me excited, especially if I can get these games at a deal, because you can easily go on eBay and Amazon and buy these games at, like, you know, premium market price. Um, or you can just, you know, find these in the... In the wild and whenever you find them in the wild it just gives you that extra satisfaction uh but yeah let me know what you guys think about the video hopefully you guys enjoyed it and uh i'll see you guys in the next one peace